So, um, yeah, I know, uh, I noticed I haven't made a video in a couple days. Um, i just been, uh, kind of busy and out to eat and stuff like that, um, because my sister's going to college pretty soon, I think in about a week. Um, so I'll be going with her up in New York. And so I haven't really been doing anything, and plus, I'm lazy. Well, I'm lazy during the summer, and then I'm active during the school year, because, you know, after school you can do all that fun shit. But, um, went to Sears, like, a little bit ago, um, and I picked up a whole saw, um, it's a one and five eighths, or no, one and three quarter. Um, because I needed a whole saw, looks like the teeth are like, nah, it's fine, because I need a whole saw for my, um, two notcher, turn that down, because, you know, stupid YouTube thing. Um, I needed a, you know, a whole saw, because this is what you use in a notcher. And then I have my drill, um, you half inch trucks on my, my uh, Milwaukee Magnum, heavy duty one. I got it on clearance for 70 bucks, pretty good drill. Um, tries to fit this pipe. I think it goes up to probably around two inch, I would think. But yeah, so I notched it. Um, just a little piece. This thing's like, I, mean, I love this thing. Only, I, this is actually the first time I used it since uh, Christmas. And it's um, August. So yeah, but it's about time. I know I I bought it for um building um some mini bike frames I was gonna build and sell them, but I never did. Um, I have to get my flap this guy and clean that up. But as you see, it does a pretty good notch. Um, it's a Harbor Freight uh pipe two notch. I think it's around fifty bucks. You have to do a slight mod to it um because it's off. Um, and when you put it together, you gotta make sure you loot the shaft up. Well, every time you use it, you should loot the shaft because it spins inside of these thin brass bearings or bushing cement. Um, and then I need to cut off this, and I found one. I knew I had one, but I knew it was a little bit, so I didn't know how much of, how bent it was, so I put on my chop saw. So this is what I have. I have chop saw. I don't have, you know, an abrasive disc, you know, saw or a, um, saw a piece of trash. Or, um,. You know, those cold cut chop saw with the really nice, like, blades that are, like, 60 bucks a pop. Don't have one, so just use my, you know, dad's miter saw. It's pretty old. Um, the motor's going bad in it. Now, it'll probably last a couple more years, but... Probably need to buy a new one pretty soon, but it's, it's, it's really old. Um, but yeah, put a blade in it, and when it spins, it's a little wobbly. Um, but after you get sort up, high speeds is sort of accurate. It makes it, you know, your cut isn't perfectly straight, but it's better than if you freehand it with like a sawzall. Um, yeah, so I just notched it, um, so it could fit really nice in my, uh, piece right there. Like, see, look at that. Seamless. Well, you look at that, you know? It's pretty good. Like, I, that's why I bought it. Um, because if you just get this and weld it, straight like that you first of all you have two gaps on each side you have a little bit of contact and then you just got to fill it with weld and that's never strong so you, you want to make you notch your or fish mouth it so that way you have a lot of contact and it's really strong um, I think I'm cutting this piece around from the inner part to I don't know, I'm cutting it to about 8 or 9 inches, I forget. And this piece I cut at 2 feet. I was going to do a full bumper and then cut it and bend it uh, to protect the wheels. But I said sort of now. Um, but yeah, it's going to mount somewhat like that. It'll be about that far. Um, so that way if I run into something, I don't... Well, my front end is solid. I ran into trees. I only dented it to a certain point point and then it stops standing <laughs> um, but this is going to be for um, some auxiliary lights and a fair lead for my winch I um, haven't ordered it um, I heard Costco has one so I've been waiting to go Costco I went there yesterday went there too late I forgot their hours and their clothes so um, I'm not sure if mine carries one so I'm going to go there and check out uh, probably Monday or so next time I go um, so that's why I haven't ordered one because I'm going to check there first See if they have a good one. Cause I heard they have the three thousand pound ones for like a hundred bucks. Um. So yeah, I gotta do another one of these. Um. Have the whole piece tubing. I used a smaller piece. 
Um, I'm going to still have a little bit left, but I think it will be pretty tight. Um, but yeah, that's sort of what I'm going to do. And then I, well, I'm probably going to use all this tubing up. This is about, f eh, 5 eight. Yeah, it's about 5 foot. Um, so that way I can create that loop. That way I can fit my fair lead and lights in and stuff. So if I crash this, something doesn't break it off or, you know, protects my winch. So the winch is going to stick out from the front a little. But yeah, um, oh yeah, I also got some other stuff. Um, it's, I got some of this, you know, vinyl tubing for gas line. I know you're not supposed to use it. I used to use it, uh, back a couple years ago, or last year, or year before that, and I used to use it, I stopped using it this year, or last year. I'm not sure when I stopped using it, but this is just for temporary use, because I only need a, I just need it, so my fuel line stops leaking, and I can just use my tractor for a couple of days or so. Until I get some, because Sears didn't, was out, so i will probably get a Napa or Pet Boys or something, and get some more fuel line. Um, you see, just dripping. You got a puddle there. Try electrical tape. It works for a little bit, but then the adhesive just took a shit because of the gas. Um, I need a filter too. I'm just gonna clean this one out. Uh, you're not supposed to reuse them, but I will. Um, just it's just for a couple of days, um, and you know, just put it on there. Show work. I know this stuff gets hard as hell because I used, I used to use it on my uh, push mowers. Used on my straight pipe one. That was a piece of shit. And yeah, so I got some just so it stops leaking and I can drive it around for a couple of days or a week, probably a week at the most. Um, so I'm gonna start working. Well, start working back. I get my flap to scan, clean all up and stuff. Um, and I'm probably gonna. Oh yeah, I said. I was also thinking in my head, um, since I ground some of this down and some of this bare metal, it sort of rusted a little when I left it at my friend's house overnight and it rained. Um, I was thinking, don't feel like doing body work like that, and I'm and I'm gonna paint the back the same thing. I was thinking, what's a good, you know, type of paint or enamel or something that's easy to put on, that's you know strong, um, it you know hides some you know imperfections and dents and uneven spots looks cool and it's pretty rugged now I was thinking truck bed liner it would work perfect it's 10 bucks a can probably only need a can for this probably a can and a half for both of these because they're pretty big cans and there's a truck bed liner it um, so kinda wanna do that so it doesn't rust and shit then I'll take that one off that's some primer cleaner down I said I was gonna paint it burnt orange metallic but that's a lot of work, and I don't feel like doing all that body work, and I don't, you know, I don't really know that much about body work. So I'm just going to truck bed liner shit out of it. <laughs> um, these are truck bed liner, and then I'll put maybe some dime plate in there, or some tread plate. I want to put something, because I know the truck bed liner wears down, because, um, you know, I, w I wear it through the powder coating. Um, or maybe I'll get a mat, but some something that has more grit, and I'll probably... Because every time I go off road, my foot always slips off there. Slips off the... Well, I can't really fix that unless I put a new thing on there. But always slipped off the brake. You know, or clutch, whatever you want to call it. My foot would just slip off because it's covered in slick, the slick mud shit. You know, slick mud and water and all that. So, you guys, um, I'm going to get back working on here. And then I'll see you guys when I get more done. Hey, guys. So, um, just finished up welding uh, my bumper. You know, the piece is on. I um, still have to put it on there. Um, I'm going to build that, like, loop thing. You know, the kind of thing that the fair lead and stuff goes in. I'll do that a little bit later. Um, I can just do that when it's on the tractor. So, whoa. I don't know if I am going to do that. I might do that. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so if I do do it, I'll just do it on the tractor anyway. Um. I like the bumper. I like how it's come along. Um, so everything's all squared and everything. I got it fully welded up. Um, I need to paint it and stuff, but I don't have paint. Um, but I have to weld it on the tractor first uh, before I paint it. Because if I paint it before I put it on the tractor, then when I weld it, it'll just all burn off anyway. Um, but I'll just leave it sort of like this. I'll clean off the flux, but um, I'll leave it sort of like this. Um, you know, for a little bit, if I want to do that loop, if I don't want to do it, you know, yeah, it's really hot, 
Um, so I don't want to touch it for a little bit. Um, so I'll probably just put on like the field line or something. Um, so yeah, it's almost done. Just needs to be what on the tractor. I might do the loop. I don't know. So I can just mount the fairly. I can just weld two pieces of tube and mount it. I'm not really sure yet. I just, I'll just have to mount this on there first and see how it like could look. But um, yeah. So it's come on pretty good. Um, just have to you know put it in the front. Um, if you guys didn't notice this little trick I found out to put your hitch pin, you just put it right here. There's three holes in in the uh, front. You just, this is where I put my hitch pin. I put it right there. So just put in, and then you just put the little clip on it. And you push in, it doesn't hit anything because look up under it. It's not even near that. It's a, you know an inch and a half away. Plus that part doesn't move. Um, I'm gonna have to take. Eh, I can still take off because the tube's gonna go probably around here. It's gonna end about half an, about three eighths or so from the edge on each side. So you probably just leave that. I don't know if I could take it out when it's on there. I don't know. But yeah, uh, might do the loop. I don't know. Just have to see how it looks. Um. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so um, I decided to put a loop. <laughs> um, basically, what I did is I got a pair of gloves on because that's pretty hot. And I held it up to the tractor, and I looked at it, and it just didn't really, you know, look that appealing. You know, it didn't really stand out. It just looked like, you know, a regular, some sort of bumper. So I thought if I had a loop, it would make it look a lot better. So I got my welding glove on here, because I just got done welding it. I still have to notch the ends. I can still notch it, even though it's like this. And I, I of course, have to measure it up, but sit approximately like this it's gonna be a little bit over or a little bit down more it'll be a little bit down more but I can't really hold it and back up <sighs> hold on I can't really do that um, but that's how that's how it's sort of gonna go I think it's like a two inches on each side you know and then I'll sit down a little bit more because it'll be notched. Um, so there's maybe up at 90. That's sort of what it looks like. Um, when I get my fairly, I'm just going to put two pieces of tubing that can go in the middle. Um, I know it is pretty tall because that's it's 8 inches. Um, I cut 45s on each piece so they all fit together. Well, I know it's pretty tall, but... Whatever, I, I kind of like it totally. You know. See, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later. So, um, uh, got the loop all in there and stuff. Um, I couldn't fit it in my notcher, so I just got a flap disc and notched it. Um, kind of, I have a problem with my motor. Oh, he has a broken motor. Um, he blew it up, and you would never see this. Look, he blew the top off. And there's ice cubes in it. What? What? <laughs> yeah, so he uh, made his racing mower motor into like a cooler of some sort. Needs a drain hole. Yep, need a drain hole. Um, um, I was just looking at something, but um, yeah, so I notched it, welded up there. Um, welds don't look pretty, but they'll work. Um, it's it's tilted forward just a tiny bit, but after bashing a tree, you should fix it. Um. Now I need to weld this on the tractor. Uh, I'll probably do it tonight. And then I want to get some sort of support that goes from here to the tractor. And then I might get a support that goes under. But there's not really anything to go to. Because as soon as you go under there, it's just dead space. Unless I build something. I don't know. I just got to weld those two pieces on there first. And then I can just, um, you know, go from there. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so, um... I finished up some stuff on my tractor. There we go, turn it down a little bit. That works. Um, so I got my bumper welded on there. I'm not fully done because I ran out of wire. I uh, went through like a two pound spool in like less than a month. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, welded the tubing there. 
um, in there. You can see it. And I got some of that. I think it's two inch angle. And I put it up under here. And I welded to frame welded to this. I'm still need to do more welding. And I want to get a piece of cable that goes from here to like here. Um, it's pretty strong. It can hold me. And I can pick it, the tractor up with it. It's pretty good. Um, and then when I put my winch there, I put my fair lead in between here and then lights here. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yes, yeah, so that's on there good. Um, you know, so when I go further and crash this, I'm don't, well, I can't say it doesn't hurt my front, but it doesn't do shit. <laughs> so my front is like completely solid. Except for my lights. But, um, I did some other things under here. Alright, uh, first off, well, I put my choke on, and you can't see it, but there's that, you know, piece there. It's all hooked up. Um, I had it, I just never put it on, because I was pissed at the carb. Um, hooked that on, put the air filter box on, um, put the fuel line on, you know, ran it with this, the, I cleaned this out, the yeah, filter. fuel line. Well, you know, vinyl mm -hmm. tubing. It, this shit gets, like, hard as hell and, like, freaking overnight. Except there's no fuel in it, so, you know. Um, that's pretty much all I did. Um, yeah, so, should, should it be almost, you know, done for off-roading and modding? Just need a good winch so when I get stuck, I can winch myself out. I meant stuck. Stuck! Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, got them headlights. He's actually pretty r bright. And then I want to get, you know, two more down here. Because at nighttime, these are good, except for they get... They don't go as far straight. They go, like, more side to side. So I want ones more that go straight. But, um, yeah. So I only need only thing I need to do is add a winch. And probably, like, a... That's it. That's all I can think of. And then I have my wrenches I need to put on here somehow. Well, I'll take this off when I go for it, too. Probably just hang on that. That would be completely in mud. That won't work. I don't know. Just probably just bungee cord them to the hood or something. Say, so, guys. Uh, see you later.